Tiki, with Rodgers in, the expectation is Super Bowl or oh, yeah. bust. With Rodgers out, what's the new expectation for Green Bay? I got to find a new Super Bowl team pick. because they were my pick. It was trendy, right? Um, Brett Hundley is okay. He's not going to kill you unless he kills you. Um, but he's not Aaron Rodgers, and he can't make a team that has suffered a ton of injuries. Those two tackles, Balaga and Bagtiari, they can't stay healthy. One head it goes down with a concussion, another goes down with a hamstring re-injury. And, and, and you worry about the savior. Uh, and you hate to put that term out there for a football team because it is the ultimate in team sports, uh, the NFL, and really just football in general. But Brett Favre has felt like, I mean, uh, Aaron Rodgers has felt like a savior for this team. Anytime they've gotten in trouble, whether they play horrible or great, he's, he always figures it out. Now they don't have that. And so their expectation falls off the table because there's just no viable option unless they go get Tony Romo or Colin Kaepernick or someone like that which I don't think either one of those guys is going to be the difference maker that they need. Well, let me go to the latter guy, because whenever a quarterback goes down, we know that the story shifts to Kaepernick, yeah. and especially in light of him bringing the, this collusion case uh, <laughs> against the NFL. To me, I don't know if a situation has been more tailor-made football-wise than what's going on in Green Bay, because Rodgers will be out for so long, yeah. and it is a team that otherwise is thought to contend, do you think there's any chance that they, they reach out to Kaepernick? Plus, it would be a great story for well, the rest of the I season, mean, right? I mean, it would be awesome for us <laughs> if we could get to talk about these things on a, on a daily basis and a weekly basis. But I don't know if Colin Kaepernick fits with what they do football-wise. Um, their, their scheme is not uh, uh, tricky. It's not gimmicky. And uh, Colin Kaepernick made a lot of his hay especially when he was going to championships, by being gimmicky and running the ball and things of that nature. Now, Aaron Rodgers does do some of those things, but it's by necessity. It's not by design. Now, doesn't that go to the question we've had in a lot of these situations, though, where maybe you alter a little bit to get a talent like Kaepernick rather than bring in somebody who's not good to run your system well, who you know? Well, I'll, I'll tell you this, because I've been, obviously been in locker rooms my entire life um, and up until a decade ago. It is so hard to go learn a system. I mean, these guys who are doing it on a, for, on a professional basis because training camp has been shortened because they don't have as many OTAs. It takes them four weeks in the, in the NFL season to figure out the systems that you're running. Can you imagine a guy just coming in and figuring out exactly what they want to do? Or if, they are, if they're trying to cater this to Colin Kaepernick, changing it and making everybody else fit what he does? I mean, it does, it does he'll be a great locker room guy because guys love him in the locker room. I don't, I don't care what anyone has to say about Colin Kaepernick. Guys love him. But... Learning football, at least the way the Green Bay plays it, is not something that's easy. One more real quick. In any system, who would you rather have, Hunley or Kaepernick? Uh, probably Kaepernick. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's, it's, it's hard to say. I mean, you want to trust the kid, right? That's what you drafted him for. It's what you bring him in for the last uh, three years to sit back and learn. And uh, hopefully with first team reps all week and, you know, feeling the expectation now, not just being a mid, uh, first quarter thrust in. Um, he gets better prepared for it.